It's not often you see a horse in someone's yard in the middle of town. But as the news station's Tim McGonigal tells us, there's one unusual steed who has been causing a lot of Great Falls drivers to do double takes. It may look like horseplay is taking place in Jean Barbo's front yard on the northeast side of Great Falls, but it's actually the making of a work of art. Uh, the lady here didn't want to see just another bear in Great Falls. She's a horse lover, and um, when I told her that uh, this would be my first horse that I've ever carved, she was just ecstatic about it. The Barbo's Green Mountain Ash Tree fell victim to winter kill. Instead of cutting the tree entirely down, they chose chainsaw art. They saw Levesque's work at the farmer's market and put him to work. Levesque has carved numerous animals, bears, eagles, deer, turtles, even dragons, but never a horse. He looked to a miniature model for his inspiration. Found it at the Village Drug, and that was pretty much exact, almost exactly what she was wanting, a rearing horse. So I picked it up and said, that's what I'm going to lose sleep over. Cool. And I have. Lebeck estimates that when all is said and done, he will have put about 30 hours into the challenging project. I guess just getting it to a, a, a general look so people come by and don't wonder what it is. They automatically know that it's a horse. In Great Falls, Tim McGonigal for Montana's news station. Homeowner Jean Barbo says she hasn't decided on a name for the horse, but... Greg, you'll love this. She's leaning toward Duke as the name. And oh, you'll I, love that. I love that. I love it. <laughs> I'm, I have no uh, reaction to the name, uh, positive or negative, because I'm a completely biased. Unbiased. Unbiased <laughs> is what I meant. So that might be my favorite.